Caleb Richards writes, on Heroes Tuesday, John Campia talked about <clears throat> Brian Singer taking the helm of Fantastic Four or being the man of all Fox superhero movies. I nearly threw my computer across the room. <laughs> Brian Singer's only decent X-Men films were X2 and Days of Future Past. Jack the Giant Slayer is his only miss. Did you watch Superman Returns or X-Men? Brian Singer himself said he wasn't a big comic book fan in the behind the scenes of X-Men. I don't get your infatuation for Singer. It's totally misplaced. Well, well to, to give credit where credit's due, it was actually Schnepp who came up with the <laughs> what I thought was a great idea of Brian Singer running uh, uh, the uh, Fox Marvel world, if you will. And I just thought it was a, a perfect idea. Let me address a couple of things you brought up there, the point by point. Um, first of all, you said the only two good movies, uh, X-Men movies, was X-Men 2 and X-Men Days of Future Past. Only two of the greatest superhero films ever made. <laughs> X-Men 2 is still in that conversation. Days of Future Past was a magnificent film. He's only done that. I don't understand your thinking on that. When you say, did you see the original X-Men? Look, all film is subjective. Your opinion is no better and no worse than mine. But my opinion stands in stark contrast to yours on this. Did I see the original X-Men? The film that single-handedly resurrected the superhero genre again? The type of film where producer Charles Roven, who produced the Batman trilogy for Christopher Nolan, said at a Q&A, if there was no original X-Men film, there would have been no Batman Begins. That was the movie that made studios go... No, we really can do this again. We really now. Blade 2 had already been out, but it was the way X-Men was done with such high quality filming and all that kind of stuff that it was that type of film that made Warner Brothers and other studios go, no, this genre, look, this genre can work and this can work well. We owe so much to that original X-Men film. Now, Superman Returns, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Superman Returns was a bad comic book movie but i still contend was a good movie but they just missed the boat they made a mistake they forgot that this was a comic book movie where superman's biggest fights is lifting things okay i yeah i got that but if you just looked at it as a human story i thought it worked quite well and i enjoyed the film but i totally understand other people's criticisms of the film totally get it because it did fail as a comic book movie but i'm sorry the failure start stopped there when you look at films like apt pupil which is so good. When just the other day we were talking about one of my top 10 all-time favorite films, The Usual Suspects, a, a just acknowledged as a masterpiece of a film. That's Brian Singer. When you look at one of the most underrated films the last 10 years, Valkyrie, which I think is the, the most underrated Tom Cruise film ever done. That movie's a really solid film. He's done that. And then you look at what he did with X-Men 2 and Days of Future Past. Then, yeah... If you're going to get anybody to run the Fox Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think that's the guy to do it. Now, there might be some other really good names. Maybe there even be better names out there. But I think if you're a comic book movie fan and news drops tomorrow that Fox has appointed, you know, Brian Singer as their shepherd, he's now going to take, they're going to reboot Fantastic Four again, but they're going to create a, a coherent cinematic universe and they're putting it all under Brian Singer. Then I think as a film fan, you would be nuts in a purely subjective way, but you would be nuts not to be excited about that. And yes, his Jack and the Beanstalk movie was terrible, but every great director has a bad day at the office, and that, I agree with you totally, was his very bad day. That movie sucked, and it was his very bad day at the office, but man, if I got to put his Jack and the Beanstalk against Usual Suspects, X-Men, X-Men Days of Future Past, Valkyrie, Apt Pupil, I'm sorry, the weights go like this. So I, that's just the way I see it. Schnepp, we talked about this on Heroes a little bit, yeah. but your thoughts on that. Well, <clears throat> I think it's, it's, it's really easy for people to judge anyone from their last few films. So, you know, I mean, with Brian Singer, I'm like, I'm so happy he came back to the X-Men. Yeah, You know, I was like very trepidatious about it because I wanted Matthew Vaughn to make Days of Future Past and Brian Singer had just made Jack the Giant Slayer. So you're sort of like, I remember hearing, why are they giving him Days of Future Past? It makes no sense. Then I saw the movie and I was like, wow, <laughs> yeah. why did I even think that way? You know, because then you go back and then you look at all of his other films and it ha he has a style, he has a perspective and he has a way that he makes films. And for the most part, I'd say, you know, he's batting 90%. You know, if you take Superman Returns and Jack the Giant Slayer out of the equation, those films are, it's an incredible body of work. So to have someone like that responsible for like, hey, that's why we were talking about. It'd be great if he took over this, you know, this group and mentored other filmmakers into it to give them a stylistic, you know, plate to work from, you know. 
I think it's a great idea. Hey, look, you know, I'm sorry you destroyed your computer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I would be more than okay with Brian Singer running the Fox Cinematic Universe if it, if it became one. Uh, I actually would prefer Matthew Vaughn because I think he's responsible for the new wave of X-Men movies yes. because, you know, Singer made the choice to leave X Men and do Superman Returns, right. yeah. and then Brett Ratner got a hold of it and almost killed the entire franchise. Right. And then it was Matthew Vaughn who rebooted it. Matthew Vaughn was supposed to do; he wrote a lot of Days of Future Past and was involved in it for a long time, and then left. Right. And then Singer came in and knocked it out of the park. Either one of those guys, I'd be okay with. But I got to agree with you guys. I mean, Brian Singer has an amazing body of work, and Usual Suspects, one of my favorites. At pupil, completely underrated. Um, so yeah, he'd he'd be a, he'd be all right to have uh, take a hold of this uh, universe. And a lot, a lot of people also forget too that I, sometimes you hear that so and so is a producer on this movie, and what it means is they were on set one day and got one other guy involved, and then they did nothing. Uh, Brian Singer was actually a very active producer with Matthew Vaughn right. on X X Men. Um, uh, first class. First first class. class yeah. I was going to say new class. Yeah. That's a different show altogether. Uh, with his first class, and then they switched roles, and, and Brian Singer took over the helm with Days of Future Past, and Matthew Vaughn served as a producer, and it was a good team. And the one thing I'll say, keep this in your back pocket too about, about Superman Returns. I already said it did fail totally as a comic book movie. It, absolutely. But at least give it its due. Stand back and say, in an era where everybody's complaining that nobody, a lot of filmmakers don't take risks, they don't try try doing something totally different with something and reimagining something, Brian Singer made a Superman movie that I think nobody else ever really thought of making before. And he did something that was so different from the trend of superhero movies and made it very character-centric and all that kind of stuff. I agree, though, he made some wrong decisions in the fact that he forgot it was also a comic book movie at the same time. But that aside, I think a, a couple of his biggest misses had upsides to them as well. So, uh, yeah, I would love it if he... I don't think it's going to happen. So you don't have to worry. <laughs> right. I don't think it's going to happen. But I would just be really happy if it did. 